channel welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Jayla also known as Jay Chanelli on the internet so that is where you can find and follow me natural girls if you're looking for a wig that mimics your natural hair okay and it's pressed out blown out flat iron silk press state <laughs> this is the wig for you let's go ahead and get into this unit before we start remember to hit that subscribe button also hit that notification button so you can know anytime I'm posting a new video all right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this unit that I am currently wearing. This is from Altrace Perfect Hairline Unit, and this is the fully hand-tied 13 by 6 lace wig in the style Shanice, okay? And I got this in a color 1, which means it is a jet black color. Some of the claims of this unit is that it is a fully hand-tied 13 by 6 frontal, no plucking required. Comes with baby hairs, soft Swiss lace, adjustable wide elastic band, and heat styling friendly. We will put all these claims to the test today. First things first, this hair is so super soft, y'all. I know how synthetic hair feels. Because this is like a kinky straight, it doesn't feel like synthetic-y. It feels really soft, but also really nice. This is the lace that we're working with, so you can part anywhere in this middle area. And it looks like we have two combs in the front a comb in the back, adjustable straps, and also an elastic band. The lace color is definitely brown. Hopefully I'm able to work with that lace in my skin complexion. And this is what the hairline is looking like. Let me go ahead and put on my wig cap so we can get into this wig. I like to show you how the wig looks straight out of the box, so let's go ahead and apply Shanice. Shanice kind of snug on my hair, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. But this is how Shanice is looking straight out of the box on my head. As y'all can see, my baby hair stick out all the time. So I'm gonna have to figure that situation out. It's so soft, y'all. Okay. This is how long the unit is on me. I don't think I'm feeling the middle part. Let's see what the side part looking like. I think I'm gonna wear it at the side part, so I'm gonna pluck a little bit over here, cut this lace off and figure out how to make this blend into my skin, and then I'll come back to y'all with some more thoughts. I'll be back. So I went ahead and cut a little bit of baby hairs in the very front and swooped it along with my natural baby hairs just because my hairline peaked out on the sides. There's no way I can get around that. So I did have to do a little swoop swoop action. I also put some powder foundation in my part just to make it look a little more natural. And then I have, you know, the, what do you call these things? The fringes on the side because, yeah, I don't usually glue down my units or anything like that. I kind of just use the combs and keep it moving. So that's all I've done so far. We are looking a little bit better, but I think that I want to take down the volume on this unit just a little bit. So I am going to use some heating tools and we can also test out this claim that this hair can take up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I also have this like heated brush thing that I think I'm going to use. So I'm going to set this thing to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if y'all can see that. So we're just under 400 degrees. All right, y'all, I did run through that hair just a little bit with that brush. I am going to cut me a little bit of fringe, fringe in this front area. So I definitely don't want, ooh, do not chop it off like that. Super blunt. That's not cute. Okay, y'all, let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts. Um, I think she's hitting all the claims, okay? Fully hand tied, 13 by six frontal. It says no plucking required. 
mean, yeah, I would say no plucking required if you're not trying to give hairline, to be quite honest with you. I think when you put the wig on, the hairline is a little dense, but I can tell that they actually did pluck their hairline before I applied the wig. So I definitely would say it's plucked, but you might need to do a little bit of extra. It says baby hairs are included. They are included, but I kind of just decided to make my own little swoop swoop right here. Soft Swiss lace. This one is pretty standard, I think, for synthetic wigs. Adjustable wide elastic band. Yes, that elastic band is in there, and it is heat styling friendly. So I would say that all of those claims are being met. Honestly, pros of this unit is the texture, though. Like, this texture is so, so, so beautiful. Once again, I can't get over the fact that these fibers, they don't give you like regular synthetic feel because it's mimicking that kinky straight. It has a good texture to it, it has a good strength to it. Like I'm just very, very impressed with this. And I'm interested to see how long this wig lasts. Also pro is the volume. The amount of hair that's on here looks very natural. It's giving you like, if you have thick natural hair and you've got it pressed out, that is what this density looks like. Up here, I can feel the tracks. I do know that tracks are present, but I don't think that you can see any tracks. Like, let me go ahead and turn around. I like the parting space. I definitely like the fact that I can get a traditional middle part or I can get like a little curved side part action in there. Love the fact that this is heat resistant. So if you are somebody who likes to get kinky straight units and then actually flat iron them, like press them out. I think this will be um, a good unit that you can try that out with because it does take the heat. Cons of this unit, not getting much shedding. I did pluck just a little bit up here, so I did have some hair that came out, but I'm not getting a whole lot of shedding, nor am I getting a whole lot of tingling. I will say that I guess a con is that the hairline is perfect. It really is a perfect hairline in the sense that people usually have less dense hair on the side, it's more dense at the top, and then the same thing for the other side, and this doesn't necessarily mimic a natural hairline. I wouldn't wear this hairline out. I think it's a little too for me, and I also think that it's too difficult to pluck synthetic units. I don't really have any other cons, y'all. Overall, if you've been looking at this unit for a while and you're really, really wondering, okay, like, I know all the YouTube girls love it, but should I actually get it? Yes, but make sure it's on sale. I'm happy with my purchase, and I definitely do think I'm gonna invest in a kinky straight human hair wig in the future, but this is a very good starting point. I think I look very, very cute, and this was a very good wig to reintroduce myself into, you know, the synthetic wig gang. If you wanna see more synthetic unit videos from me, Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also like this video so that YouTube can share with other people. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Hopefully that saved you. Yeah.